What's going on, Twitch chat? I'm out of focus. So is my career. How are you guys doing? I want to talk about camera angles, specifically seven different camera angles. Let's try it out. Number one, the bird's eye view. Now, the bird's eye view or that high camera angle, usually from the top down, a lot of times it's used for um, like your mouse and keyboard or your art. So if you're drawing or painting, building something, or people just want to see your hands use the mouse and keyboard at like crazy rates if you're like an esports man's or whatever you want to be. Those are the types of streamers that want to be able to use those high angles so you can see all of the action that's happening in sort of real time. The idea is that the audience looks down at the subject and kind of creates that separation so you're really far removed and you get a really big picture of the overall view. Being that mine isn't really YouTube friendly, I don't really use it that much aside from showing off my food. Number two, the straight on angle. Right now I'm talking to you at a straight on angle. This is a conversation between you and I. I don't think this is the most flattering for anything outside of YouTube. In terms of streaming, it's kind of jarring to stare directly into the person's face as they're doing something else. To me, the person seems distracted or they're just not really focused on you. Unless their stream is around interactivity and being able to talk or convey that message directly to the person, which nine times out of 10, it's not. The straight on angle is not really a favorite of mine unless there's like a green screen or something and you just want to see the personality one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, sometimes this is referred to as the medium close-up shot. So it's everything from like the chest and shoulders up and this is sort of the right crop for it. But really the straight on angle is like, the DMV mugshot of streamer camera choices. I already have social issues as it is. I don't really need to add on to that by staring directly into a lens. And unless we're doing more stuff like this, then it's, it's probably fine. Number three, the side camera angle. Now, the side camera angle is actually used a lot with the high profile streamers like Shroud, Ninja, Tim the Tatman has a variation of the side camera angle. It's one of the classic ones that a lot of streamers use to be like, hey, we're on like a journey We're we're doing this together. It becomes a we. It's not so much, OK, you and I are talking together. It's let's go on a journey. It sort of invites you in that way. We're now sort of in the observer seat. It's not like a direct line of sight. So I think this is a little bit more comfortable for a lot of streamers. For a lot of us, we sort of grew up as like that sibling spectator and, and seeing like your sibling or your cousin or somebody play games. And this is probably the best simulation for that in our streaming world. But now you get to see the content like as if they see it, you just get to go on a journey with them, if you will. I use somewhere of a variation between the front and the side angle. It's more like a 45 like diagonal. So you get a little bit more face and not directly to the side of the head. And really the only controversy around this angle is whether or not you should be facing the gameplay, which to me, it makes sense if you are facing the game, or if you're facing off frame, it gets kind of weird, but it's pure preference. Number four, the low camera angle. The low camera angle is, I, I'm not gonna lie, like the, the low camera angle makes me just feel taller. Hey. Ah! Going through old clips and stuff, I noticed that I felt, I felt like, like disconnected and I didn't want viewers to look at me or look up at me necessarily. There's different variations of it. Just like a low camera angle in general could be the opposite of the bird's eye view where you're looking directly up at the streamer. And, and Paladin Amber actually has a great example of this where the camera is actually in a waste bin. And when she deals with trolls, she's talking to literal trash. And I think it's a really fun example. And I don't really get a whole lot aside from maybe some musicians use this as like a, a low angle for the foot pedal if they're drumming or if Again, they want like a wider view of everything that's going on from that lower perspective. It's just a change of pace. So we're breaking eye level and bring it down just like a little bit. So if there's a bird's eye view, this is sort of the polar opposite, like a bird poop victims POV. Yeah. I don't. Number five, the wide angle. Now, if side face or the side angle is like the second most popular, I have to say that I think the one that I see across the board, at least with most people that start streaming, is that really wide angle feel. And if it's done correctly, it does a great job of, you know, showcasing your personality, your surroundings. It, it really paints a picture of who you are as an individual or as a streamer, however you want to portray it. The issue that I have with the wide angle is more cases than not, you have a lot of just 
unfurnished white space and then you're just sort of like 10 20 percent of the frame and there's nothing interesting going on when you take the full frame and you shrink it down and you're still 20 percent of it you're this tiny sliver and the rest of it is just empty space just covering gameplay and that drives me nuts like just imagine you have a totally blank canvas and, and, and complete creative freedom to express yourself however you want and it's just nothingness around you there's so much you can do just just do it. Number six, the close-up. I probably view this one just a tiny bit. <laughs> that one wasn't funny, Roman. He's actually slapping. And this is sort of uh, the most intimate angle that you can come up with. And it's a direct look in the face. And I'm just staring. And sometimes I'm just begging the audience for a reaction or just acknowledging the moment because something so stupid had been said i just have to pause and acknowledge how stupid that thing was said and a lot of times the stuff that i say but there's a lot of funny variations of the zoom in there's a the multiple levels of zoom in like 10 percent, 20 percent, 150 percent. just really really get in there and the better the camera the more you see the pores and and the emotion and how tired that person is all in one shot and for some reason, I laugh even harder when it's like a webcam and it's just all distorted because it's not proportionate and, it, and it's just all over the place. And then I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's a lot to take in, to process. Number seven, breaking the fourth wall. Wow. Okay. So this one's a little bit up to interpretation because this goes all the way back to the idea of theater and what is the fourth wall. So if you can imagine a box or a cube or just a room, I guess is the best best way to describe it. A room generally has four walls, the background, the sides, and this invisible wall that's between you, the viewer, and me, the streamer. And when you're watching a play or a show or any of those things, that wall, it's not, it's not there. It allows you to see everything that's happening within that scene from that perspective. Now, if that wall is ever really broken and I stare directly at you and say, hey, I'm a streamer, you're watching my channel. And then I go back to streaming as if nothing ever happened. That's a fourth wall break in a nutshell. And it's done in comedies with like Mel Brooks or Monty Python, House of Cards, Rick and Morty. And it sort of just acknowledges that they're a character in this ridiculous universe. And sometimes they take it a little bit further and say, hey, who are you talking to? I'm like, oh, like the audience that's out there. It's acknowledging that there's an audience that you're in a play or whatever movie or whatever situation that is. I feel like as streamers, we're constantly breaking that fourth wall uh, with thanking your followers and donations, bits, hosts, and all those things because you're acknowledging, I'm a streamer, you're a viewer. This is the thing that you're watching regardless of the context. Can I eat cookies? Only if they're vegan. It's lactose intolerance on top of IBS. It's uh, what I call a not, not a great time. Not a great time. Uh, streaming as a whole is still so very new that we're just scratching the surface. There's so many different things you can do with camera angles and you don't necessarily need a multi-camera rig to be able to do it or a $3,000 cinema camera to the side of your face ninja. At the end of the day, you just need like a touch of creativity and, and you as the person, the streamer, the creative one that can just take all this and just really make it your own. Or sometimes you just want to be a forehead and that's fine too. You guys ready to win the game or what? Just uh, just tell me what your Twitch stream is already. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to rip me a new one, drop it in the comments. Let me know how you feel. We'll talk about it. I, I never really know how to like end these things, so I, I guess I'll just... <laughs>